Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we're just going to be having a quick look at how easy it is to get up and running with a new UiPress Lite version 3. Uh, we're just going to be installing the plugin and applying a template applying a template from the library and uh, setting that live for ourselves. All right, so let's dive in. So here we are in the repository. Um, we've already installed UiPress Lite, so let's just go ahead and activate it. And here we have it. We've got it active. Now let's go to the UI Builder. The UI Builder has a little link here and it's also in settings. All right, so we haven't created any templates yet, so let's make a new one. Cool, so this is the builder and the main kind of beating heart of UI Press 3. Um, for now, we're gonna skip over all of this and we're just gonna look at the template library, which lives just up here. So you can see we've got a bunch of templates in here. Um, we can filter these off. Right now we only want to look at UI templates. So let's get rid of admin pages. And here we have it. Uh, let's choose shape space. Looks pretty cool. We've got some different options, different screenshots of the template there. Right. Uh, to add that to our uh, builder here, just come down, click add template and replace current layout. And there we have it. That's a preview of our admin area. Let me know in the comments if you know the inspiration behind this admin theme. Um, but yeah, so we've got all of this set up. Now all we need to do is set it to live. So let's go over here into block settings, uh, not block settings, template settings, sorry. Let's give it a name, first UI layout. It's a UI template already, that's perfect. Let's make it active. And for it to load, we need to assign it some roles. So the easiest thing to do if you're an admin and you want it to load for yourself, let's give it that role. And then this here is just to warn you that this um, template will now load for your role. Um, this might seem unusual when you are creating for your own role, um, but it's more when you're creating more limited um, templates or uh, lesser capable users, uh, people with the editor role or something like that, and you want to restrict features. Um, this is just to warn you that it could be potentially loading for yourself, just in case you're not aware. Um, but yeah, for the context of this, we don't need to pay any attention to that. We've got it synced to admin. So let's save this out and let's just navigate to a new page. And there we have it. There's our UI template loaded up. Everything's working great. Things are loading super quick. You can come down here and have a look at some options. We've got a view site option. That's loaded at all inline like that. We've of course got the dark mode up here. The, this is currently showing our front end of the website, which is why there's no dark mode. There's that. And we've got a logout button too. All right, that about does it for this video. I hope you can see how quick it is to get up and running with UiPress now. Um, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.